Sam, I guess, first of all, what's it like to finally have a winning streak? It took 13 games, but two, to also have so many guys step up when it was a little uneven for you there early. Kelly was there. Andre came off the bench. K. Nunn provided so much needed scoring. How nice was it to get so much from so many guys and finally have a winning streak? Winning is the ultimate goal, so you, you can tell everybody walking around here with smiles on their face. You know, food tastes better. Things get to sleep easier. And, uh, like I always say, man, there's no, there's no in between. It's either winning or misery. So there's no in between. So, you know, we just need to keep going, keep feeding off the energy that we got, and uh, I feel like we'll be okay. And then just to see a guy like you know, coach always tells us there's so much behind the scenes. Guys who aren't playing are still working hard. Sometimes it's just a matter of getting an opportunity to so see K Nunn do what he's done now the last two games to back it up with another solid effort. How good do you and the guys in the locker room feel for him? Thank you. We always be we always are happy for you know our brother. We enjoy each other's success. You know, it was found with K Nunn we were playing, and he was enjoying my success, Duncan's success. And it was his turn. It's his turn now. So we're just going to enjoy his his success, man, and just keep feeding off of that. You know, like I say, he, he, he's a spark for us. So, uh, you know, it's good to see him out there, you know, getting back to his, getting back to himself. Hey, Bam, on that play with about four minutes left when you um, you ISO'd on Pascal and you drove on him and then whipped it to Goran in the corner, how much of that was you seeing Goran open or just knowing that somebody is supposed to be in the corner and kind of making the decision to make that read ahead of time? Player development, you know. Uh, they always teach you to look at the second guy. You know, if you can beat your man, all you got to do is look at the second guy. So the second guy came over to try to stop my drive. So somebody was open over there. And they had to be gone. So great play. Hey, Bam, I know it's not it's not only you, but but as a leader on this team, how, how much have you put kind of the rebounding issues, that burden on yourself yeah, yeah. and trying to improve in that area and help the team improve, you know, with, with their rebound, with his rebounding? I mean, got a glassy. There's nothing to it, man. Just <clears throat> get the rebound. You got to finish possession. You know, that's I feel like a lot of that is what's been holding us back from, from winning the game. So you know, I put that pressure on myself. Ben, what do you think this is uh, This is going to do for you guys when you do get everybody back? Just it was felt so low a week ago. Now you guys are starting to rally with the tough circumstances. What do you think this can do for you guys this season once you do get Jimmy and Tyler back into the fold? Strength and numbers. I feel like that's the, that's the biggest achievement for us right now. You know, we're down a couple guys, like you said. So, you know, being able to win these games while they're gone, and then when they come back, should be should be even more of a plus for us. We got extra guys, extra bodies, and then we're fully healthy. So it, it's going to be a fun season. Man. You know, we, we started out a little shaky, but we're breaking it up. After a loss like this. Thank you. How you doing, Bam? How you doing? Pretty good, pretty good. Now, you were the captain of the team tonight, obviously. You steadied the pace with 14 points, 13 rebounds. You out-rebounded the Toronto Raptors 46 to 41. Um, did you feel that your presence on the floor dictated how Toronto was going to guard you, leading to open shots for the rest of the players? Because you had five teammates in double figures besides yourself. Going next to Michael Green. Yeah, that's the way the ball, the ball finds energy. Uh, we were just being very contagious. Uh, the energy was very contagious on that side. We're just out there having fun, passing the ball, sharing the ball, and everybody gets to feed off that, man. So that's kind of how I want our offense to be. All right, thanks, man. I'm out of here.